why we do what we do. Now, if you do any creative work, pottery, painting, sculpting, um, needlepoint, writing, anything creative, if you do it right, you put your heart and soul into it. You put everything you have into it. What we do here is creating. Creating something out of something negative, in many cases. That's rescue. Now, Hunter is going to his new home on Saturday. He came in, what was it, June? Yeah, June. He came in June. He could not hardly be in a room where there were other dogs running around because he wanted to get them. It's a beautiful puppy. Well-bred. Wonderful breeder, caring. Very proud of how handsome his boy was. He went off to show. He did very well. He was trained for the show ring. He walked in the ring like he owned the place. And everybody clapped and everybody cheered. And then he got a little bit big. Nothing wrong with a handsome, he's just a little bit larger. Okay. And there was a family that came along. Now, a little bit larger, I'm not talking huge, I'm talking a little bit. And that wouldn't have stopped him from showing, by the way, at all. He could have finished as a champion and he's well on his way, I don't know how many points he has, but well on his way to being a champion. But when you have all the dogs in your home, basically, related to this male, first of all, you don't have anybody to breed them to anyway. And your show career is only a short time. It's kind of like beauty contests. You hit about 40, and there are a few out there. But... So there was a very nice couple, older couple, that decided they wanted a dog and they went to the dog show and they saw him and they said, we want that dog. He's so beautiful. He is a handsome boy. Built right. Built to be able to kill things bigger than he is. Beautiful picture. He'd been trained to be beautiful. Well, that didn't take a lot of training. You just taught some, some show procedures, behaviors. That's easy. The dog wants to take over. You encourage him to do so. You teach him to be tougher than anybody else in the ring. And you have a show dog, unfortunately. When that show dog moves into a pet home, you have an absolute disaster. Now Julia worked with a professional handler, right Julia? Yes. Did they spend much time teaching that dog to be polite and nice? No. Really? No. They didn't care. They want the dog to show. End of story. Don't care what you have to do to go in there, pretty you up, and you go in and win the dog show. It's a beauty contest. And it's not nice. So when he went to his home, he failed miserably. Tough with other dogs. Probably, I, I mean, I don't know the whole, the gory details, but I'm assuming marked some. Walked around the house like he owned the place. Way too act active barked at things. You took him to the dog park, right? Oh boy. What would have happened at the dog park, Julian? Oh, he would have gone after all the dogs. He would have gone after all the dogs. That's exactly right. 
Would he have been nice to small dogs? I doubt not. No, he wouldn't have. <laughs> if, you can, if you can whip the big ones, then you can darn sure whip the small ones. So he went into the home of a very nice couple with all the good intentions of having this wonderful pet. Only he had not been trained to be a pet. Now, the saving grace of this dog is he began as a pet. He started with the breeder and his wife in just a normal household. He should have been perfectly suited for the couple, but instead, he went to a school that taught him cage fighting, taught him um, self-defense, taught him strategy games, gave him permission to be tough, gave him permission to be mouthy, gave him permission to do all sorts of manner of evil against everybody. At a time in his life when he should have been learning a career. I am not saying it's wrong to show. My dog's being shown, I got two of them, they're being shown right now. That's not wrong. What's wrong is if they don't know that when you come off that stage, you're again a pet. Now when we do training and rehabilitation, and what's funny is rescue dogs. Okay, first of all, I look at it as any dog who's lost a home is a rescue dog. So when a puppy is sold at eight weeks old, it is a rescue dog. It's gone from its birth home and has to make an adjustment. Now, nice people want to feel good about rescuing a dog. So we have to call it rescue. This dog was never abused. He wasn't educated. Cooper, when you broke your elbow, he needed some rehabilitation. He had decided it was perfectly fine to challenge the boss. He had decided you weren't quick enough to catch him. He had decided you couldn't make him do it. He never lost his home, but he was rehabilitation. Ryder. He's about as far from rescue as you could get, except his mother taught him to be opinionated, outgoing, go chase the squirrels, play rough, dig in stuff, get into things, carry things around, and try to kill the squirrels in the yard. He needed rehabilitation. Don't forget protection. Rehabilitation is not a negative. Every dog in here. Jaeger needed rehabilitation when he came. Maggie needed rehabilitation. Those weren't officially rescued. But he was on his way out. So was she. They weren't appropriate. I mean, this is not the Petraea from before. This dog caused Petraea to rip her hair out and sit and cry because the dog was harassing her so bad. Rehabilitation is nothing more than replacing negative behavior, negative habits with something useful, with better information. Okay, now that being said, does that mean that Jaeger has forgotten how to be a butthead? No. <laughs> so in other words, if you keep reminding him of what the replacement behaviors are, he's fine. Yes. And so it is with Petey. We have to keep reminding the dogs of what the new rules are. When we begin to slide, that's when we have problems. 
All of us. I mean, I remember when I was younger, I drove pretty fast. I still like to drive fast. But I have since learned that if you drive fast, there are speeding tickets and things. Okay, would I like to drive fast? Oh, yes, I would. Do I? Oh, every now and then. <laughs> the hardest thing is when everybody else is driving fast and the speed limit says not. That's hard. Because you have to go against what the majority says is right. Now what's really funny in our age of technology is <coughs> happened yesterday. A very nice man came, just adopted a busy two-year-old boxer mix. He's proudly showing me the pictures on his phone of the dog jumping on the bed, the dog looking out the big picture window, climbing on the couch, the dog playing. Another video this week was of two dogs romping through the house, just knocking stuff out of the way. And somehow, because it's a picture, we look at it and say, isn't that cute? I don't get, I don't look at it as cute. I look at, oh my gosh, you let that dog do that? People get all upset. I don't find anything cute about it. Because I know when you quit looking at that phone and you go back and look at the dog, you aren't smiling. Or the people aren't smiling. <laughs> Now what you're seeing here is Hunter doing what Hunter knows. That is going after another dog. He's doing what's normal to him. The same way speeding is normal to me. So whose job is it? Whose job is it to use the new rules? Not hunters. His job is to listen because that's his first choice. That was how he was imprinted. To be a show dog. In the ring, if his head was up just a little higher, that's a beautiful stance. He's doing what he was taught to do. We can't knock him for that. He just has to understand when he goes into his new home which rules apply. Good boy, Hunter. Now by tying him, he actually corrects himself for getting into that posture, doesn't he? Easy. I'm not tightening that. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Easy. Good boy, Hunter. Now if I turned Hunter loose, he would chase Skippy because Skippy is actually a professional victim. Right, or you're subtle. He is. He's that needy little guy. He's very insecure. He wears a pocket protector and, and he just wants to boss everybody. But then when they stand up to him, he's subtle. Eh, eh, eh. He goes to the union rep. Or he is the union rep, one or the other. But he really has no abilities of his own to keep himself safe. His job is to let this guy know what he's doing wrong. He better have a union to back him up. Good boy, Hunter. Beautiful dog. If he could live tied to a line. He can't. We can't buy a picture. Our whole lives end up to be snapshots. Come here, Shorty. Easy. Good boy. He's not dreading limits. Limits, the new rules, are what causes him to succeed. The first big thing is the intensity. Good boy, Hunter. Good job. Look at how pretty you are. 
with a less intense dog, Skippy doesn't have to hide. Come here, Skip. Come here. Come here, Skippy. Come here. Easy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're not going to Come here, Lily. No. Nobody plays with you when you're rough, do they? So when you're too strong for lesser individuals, then you end up to be resentful, don't you? Because truthfully, that's what you want is to be included. Easy. Now, by giving Hunter some commands, easy, by giving him success, he learns, good boy. He learns that there's no danger. He doesn't have to be on guard all the time. Good boy. By putting Skippy on a lead and keeping things calm, he knows he doesn't have to be afraid he doesn't like him. When you put two dogs together, they don't like each other. They're looking to see who's actually above. Just like we. We come into a group of people. We want to know who's in charge. Not be all friends. We're not going to be friends. If people were honest, you don't like most of the people you hang around with. Very often. But because it's in a group or because whatever, we forego our natural instincts and we force ourselves to interact and hang around with people that aren't even necessarily good for us. Not because they're good for us, but because we don't want to be left out. Good boy. Hunter would rather be alone than have anybody around him that is an honest, easy, good boy Skip, easy Hunter, good boy, easy, good easy, what a good dog. Hunter has to be approachable, or he's not safe. You're fine, Skip. Easy. Easy. You're fine. This is teaching Skippy to make decisions, too. I'm standing just outside of where Hunter can reach. I am Skippy Security. Good boy, Skip. Now, how many people do you know that are those suspicious, micromanaging, irritating? That's that. He's got to learn to deal with that because there's a lot of them in the world like that. There's a lot of toys in the world. Gotta learn to deal with it. Good boy. Now we've been doing something else with Hunter that has helped him make better decisions. Okay, this is great, isn't it? But how do you live like this? You can't. You can't. This is the education. What's important is when the practical application of this, of these lessons becomes a lifestyle. Now, this is the case when a dog comes to class, but the information stops at the door. No. Now you need to not let her get that far. There you go. Good girl. That's exactly right. You don't want to let her get way over that. First of all, those two sitting next to each other. It's like, I mean, that's just torture. You settle, Petey, but it's a, it's a character building. So when you decide who you're going to sit by, you make up your mind, do I want this a training session? Or do I want this me relaxed? 
Okay? So because you want to sit next to Ruby, that's great. These are the these are the three amigos right here. Which is wonderful. But if you don't want to spend the time training, then you space them out a little more or you put Cooper in the center where Cooper's not saying and passing notes back and forth and all that stuff that kids do. Because Cooper is more responsible than those two little idiots. Good boy. Now with that cue calmer on, that's just nothing but weight. With that cue calmer on, you can see the intensity come down. This is different than one of those shirts because this brings his head down. In the show ring, he walks around with his head up postured like a winner. With that weight on there, he brings his head down and looks more like a regular guy, doesn't he? Easy. Good boy. Not as a punishment. This allows Hunter to make better decisions without his first choice being what he used to do. So that would be like walking through a candy factory with your mouth covered so you could not taste it. Easy. That's really what we want. Now we want him to have enough good experiences that this becomes normal. Now the people that are going to get him are very nice people. They've been here twice. They're going to come back Saturday to work with him. But they're still new people. I could do a lot more with Hunter. Carolyn could do a lot more with Hunter than they can because we've had this dog around here for months. By putting that muzzle on this dog, First of all, I'm not going to let anyone else bother me. That would be cruel. Good boy, Hunter. Good boy. Now this allows us... Hi there. Hi. You're not going to come with me? <laughs> Good boy. He's not used to having a lead on when he does this. Because we've got four of them that are the same kind of attitude. We turn all four loose. And this allows the dog to safely make decisions. I don't use muzzles on a regular basis, but in a case like this, I want this dog to be able to go out into the world and not have a problem. It's insurance. So I can walk around and talk to people in here. Oh, Roy the toy. <laughs> Toy dogs are safe, crazy little hounds are safe, irritating bossy little dogs are safe. You can turn Z loose if you would. You can turn uh, Cooper loose, and Jaeger can be loose. Now all of you who have turned your dogs loose, come on into the center. Easy. The only word out of your mouth is easy and good easy. Easy eggs. Hunter's eating food. Now normally that little toy would be in trouble. Easy. Easy. Good girl, McNally. Easy. Now you're going to tell McNally, good girl, easy, good easy. Easy, easy. Now this is all new for her too. Easy, easy. easy. Easy, McNally. That's it. Talk to your dog. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. Now look at Jaeger. Stand over Hunter. And Hunter hold it together. Good boy, Jaeger. Not to play. These dogs are adults. What adult do you have? Do you know? That plays all the time that you actually want to be around. <laughs> Nobody. What is easy, yay. Now look at Hunter interact with all these dogs. 
Where at one time when he came, it wouldn't have been Easy. pretty. You are fine. Boy, I'm going to pull that blanket off a little bit. I know very well what she would do. Just throw that on that chair. What easy. 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 See what he wants to do? Go correct that dog. He's right. McNally needs a correction. Jaeger wants her to behave too. Good boy, Hunter. He's learning to use a different set of skills. But there's no Easy. way you take him into a dog park. Spread out just a little bit so it gives him a place to tell. Good boy. Easy, Jaeger. Good boy. Easy, Easy Jaeger. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. He's telling him what for. Easy. Easy, Hunter. Easy, McNally. Easy. You can Girl. see the non-sporting quality control you can wrap. You can see the toy, the receptionist. You can see the security guard. You can see the executive. You can see the reluctant executive. <laughs> you can see the hound. She can care less what the rest of them are doing. I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Jaeger, easy. Every dog in the herd. Chief financial officer. Jaeger, knock it off. Easy, McNally. Easy. Jaeger, back off. Jaeger, back off. McNally, easy. Good. Now, Jaeger, Z, uh, Cooper. Jaeger, back off. That's enough. They're what I refer to as junk dogs. That enough. does not mean they're worthless. That means they are not in there for training. They are in there as added fluff. They're there to help the rest of them understand how to behave. Easy, McNeil. Look at this. Easy. Beautiful. Jaeger is in there so that I can holler at him and the other dogs see that not all the hollering is zero towards them. Good Easy. dogs. Good, easy. Man. As the security guard, Jaeger is powerful. He can overpower that little receptionist guy. It's like radar and ash. Good, you know? easy. <laughs> Skippy wants to be above everybody. Jaeger, get your nose out of his butt. Jaeger, leave it. Hey, thank you. David, sit. So when we look at Hunter now, we started out shaping his attitude. Once his attitude is shaped, okay, let's get the dogs now. Get your here. Get your here. They go back where they were. Get your leave it. I should leave it. See, you can see McNally has absolutely no sense of listening to anybody. No. Just, She's just never been responsible in her whole entire life. Skippy, I mean, <laughs> Skippy, Skippy. If you, I mean, when we understand Skippy's history, which was absolutely dangerous, he's here because he ripped somebody's hand wide open. That's trust. I mean, that dog has come so far. Now, when we train, I fully believe the lead, the only reason for the lead should be because it's the law. Not because we have to hold the dog back. Hey, you, Hunter, here. Wait. I don't have a long enough line. Our laws also say no longer than six feet. Totally against. Oh, yeah. There's people. <clears throat> I talked to Lisa. There's police that sit there, and if you have a longer lead, they'll cite you. I didn't know that. That's California. Yep. yep. We don't have that law here. 
Not yet. It'll come. When you start getting animal rights people who don't do any training, telling you how to handle your trained dog, it, it's not a good thing. Now our goal should be this. Only when the dog is responsible, listens, comes when it's called, and is safe, should we have it out with anybody else? And yet, the very nice person I talked to had their dog two weeks, already the dog owns the house. How many employees would come in and after two weeks you give them the keys to the vault? Not. There's employees that never have the keys to the vault. As well they shouldn't. Hunter, come on. This dog should be able to walk on a lead. Think about it. Good dog. Come on. Wait. Good boy. Hunter, sit. Oh, what an excellent dog. Hunter, down. Wait. another year would be one awesome dog. But it just so happens he's been hired for a smaller company. And you know what? It's special to work in a small company where you have security. You don't have to go through a bunch of hoops to, ha to, ha to do your job. You know who your boss is. You trust them. You get paid a good salary. You don't have to share with anybody else. How can I take that away from him? No. Wait. Thank you. We have Colin. I, I clipped him yesterday. He's wonderful. And he's pretty darn good on the lead, too. He's all three pieces. If the people that are coming continue what started, they will have zero problems. Good easy, if they change what they're doing, they'll lose. The key that said to me, they're going to succeed. First of all, I watched them with the dog. They're wonderful. Second of all, her mom has a Jack Russell. They already took the cue bones home. They were stopping to get lines. And they're going to start the training. So that when the two dogs come together, there's consistency. That's a young couple that there's really a bright future. I mean, that's the hope that we have in this country, is that there's people like that to think about what they're doing, not just have it happen. I've made him work for this dog. He doesn't know any more now than he knew when they first met him. In fact, we've backed away from handling him at all. Because now they are the great spot in his day, not us. That makes attention from a human being even more special. The girl McNally. Now, take a picture of her now. Good, easy McNally. Now, what happened, what, what the difference is, Stephen moved over there within her circle. And she got all excited. Attention is not what that dog needs. It's what she wants. It's her currency, but it's not what she needs. Good boy, Hunter. Because her education is starting today. Good easy, McNally. Good job. Does this make sense for